This is an art exhibition where the only art on display is blank canvases. Everything in here was bought on Amazon and put up within two hours of the art gallery opening. So why is one of Australia's most distinguished art evaluators I've been since 30 years ago involved in the yeah. art world. Convinced that these blank canvases are worth thousands. That probably will be okay. Well, I'll tell you why. The art industry is weird. When I see a white line get sold for $48.1 million, frankly, I'm a bit cheesed off because honestly, I think I could do a better job. And the whole thing just sounds like a bit of a scam. They'll tell you that you just don't understand it. But I'm here to prove to you that anyone can make it by setting up a fake persona, setting up an entirely fake art gallery filled with fake art, inviting a bunch of art critics and the icing on the cake, getting told by an art evaluator that your work is worth millions. Now every piece of art needs an artist, and it can't just be regular old me. No, 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 no. We need to be posh. We need to get pretentious. And so a new man was born. Meet Constantine Stan, a famed minimalist born in Anciano, Tuscany, close to the town of Vinci. Now if you've ever done art, this should sound really familiar, because I've just stolen Leonardo da Vinci's life story and played it off as my own. After all, they say originality is just undetected plagiarism. With our persona established, we needed to find an art gallery to host this at. I sent out a Request to over 10 art galleries and well, none of them wanted me there. I continued my search over the next few days and one thing became clear. If I was going to find an art gallery to host me, Constantine Stanford would have to go straight to the source. Okay, so I'm on my way to check out the art gallery for the first time. The only art gallery that's accepted my offer to host an event. None of the websites done, nothing's been organized. Constantine Stanford pretty much just exists in my mind. To say I was nervous is an understatement. I had reached out to so many art galleries and this one was my only hope. He held my fate in his hands and to make matters worse, it immediately seemed like he did not trust me. Are you an art student? I'm an artist. I studied art overseas in your house. And then met my name, Jordan. Yeah. I've been an artist since in Florence. To be honest, I kind of panicked here and just threw some imaginary friend named Jordan into the mix, which he did not seem to believe. But by some miracle, a box made of canvases somehow did the trick. Well, yeah, this is like, it's basically my simple constant and just like that, I had an entire art gallery to myself that would hopefully look official enough to trick our art critics and evaluators. Like any good art exhibition, now we just needed some people. Now, if there's anywhere we're gonna find artsy people, it's an art gallery. So we're here at our state art gallery to find some people to come along with us next Sunday. Let's check it out. Hey guys, I'm just one of the art coordinators here. We're hosting an art gallery in association with okay. New South Wales Art Gallery. Um, right. So if you're interested, um, we'll leave tomorrow. We'll leave Sydney tomorrow. Oh, no. Tomorrow morning. That's all good. But thanks for no, no worries. Everyone's flying out today. Oh, everyone's flying out today. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's all right. Just some good inspiration. The flyers were, well, literally flying out the door and things were going unbelievably well. Hopefully we'll see you there. But with security everywhere, we had to watch out every move. One slip up could mean that, uh, Oh yeah, we got kicked out. But that wasn't gonna stop us. Instead of handing out flyers to art fanatics, we would just have to hand out flyers to literally everyone. Oh. Hey guys. Hi you guys. Guy in Birkenstocks and thongs. Seems like the perfect target. Hi you guys. We've got a free minimalist art gallery. Oh, fantastic. Um, awesome. Thank thanks. you. No, it's in, it's in Darlinghurst. Yeah, she definitely wasn't interested. But almost a hundred flyers later, even if I do say so myself, our campaign was a great success. Great success. And with Art Fanatics practically knocking at the door, all I needed now was a professional opinion. It was time to call in the art appraisers and critics. These were the big dogs with opinions that could make or break my exhibition. If they didn't think it was art, then it wasn't art. So I was practically shaking when I started calling them. Hiya, is this Miller's Fine Art? Yes, I charge $250 per hour to do evaluation, so... You've got to be kidding me. Hi, Mark. I was looking to get some art advisory. Yeah, 
look, it's not really what I do. I'm not sure who I would recommend. Yeah, we don't tend to be able to offer valuations for works on the primary market. With hardly any luck, nobody wants to evaluate my mark. And my phone calls almost causing several accidents. Oh, sorry. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, oh goodness. That's all right. Take it easy. I was getting desperate. But just in the nick of time, the day before our art gallery was due to happen, I got the text of my dreams. Got some great news. It's an early morning in the office today. There is no better way to kick off an early morning than with an art appraiser in the DMs. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Yeah, really good, thank you. I've been, I've been managing uh, our portfolios and... But after getting on the call with, let's call him Leo, I realized there was just one problem. Yo, are you based in Melbourne? That's, that's correct. Uh, I was going to tell you. I was going to have to fly Leo from a different part of the country. I'd be more than happy to, to book tickets for you to fly to Sydney. Just so he could spend an hour judging my fake art. I should talk with my wife or something. Yeah. Honestly, I think it won't be a problem. Awesome. It's fantastic. Thanks so much. Right. If you're watching this, Lou, I'm sorry. <laughs> I arrived at the art gallery and despite my troubles fitting in the door due to my enormous dump truck My ass is too fat It was go time Okay, today's the day With less than three hours to make some art before our art evaluator arrived We literally have zero pieces of art done As you can see there's nothing on the walls The first step was to take inventory of what we had to work with Alright, so we got the smallest canvas known to man I got a set of dollar store, it was $3 Oh, we should name this size doesn't matter <laughs> The rest of these canvases were all conveniently bought from Amazon, and this big one, well, I spent the last three days making it myself. I'm six foot. That's a big boy. Oh, boy, it's 11 th The art appraiser's coming out. 15 to make art. The real challenge, though, was to convince everyone that whatever we put up in the next hour and 15 minutes was genuinely professional art. And we really made that hard for ourselves. No going back. That looks so stupid. Yeah, that's alright. It's our first piece of art done. Only the highest quality of material is being used for this exhibition. I think this was like five dollars off of Amazon. We're experiencing true level. You want to experience true level? The panic was most definitely setting in. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. It's too wide. Oh fuck. <laughs> Looks so stupid. Oh my god, this guy's gonna walk in and be like, what the? F While my good art friend Will was busy making some decent looking art, I decided to do some last minute marketing for the gallery. Oh, you know what would actually be good? If we had a big banner outside advertising the place. Where is the nearest office space? I also realized we, we haven't named the art gallery yet. I was thinking something like the not art gallery. Okay, what if I did the not art gallery in Romanian? The new art gallery. That's perfect, right? Do we have 15 minutes? So after a quick trip to the nearest office work. Hey, I'm here to pick up a banner. Thanks. Okay, we got it. The banner, I got the banner. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. Holy shit, holy Alright. So there was one last thing left to do. Just like how they do it in proper art galleries, it was time to give our art some captions. And what I'm gonna do is just go online and look at like famous white paintings and then just steal all of the description. A white painting is still a white painting. I think if you put the description of a white painting next to a description of any other white painting, it'll still work. Yeah, if I just copy and paste this. Having stolen the descriptions of the artist, I thought it would only be fair if I made up an original title. Since Rauschenberg's original title was three white panels, I decided to call mine Je suis une valeur. Okay, yes. Or in English, I am a thief of white panels. I also have to give each of these artists a name. I did say I I was working with Jordan when I first came to this art gallery to, to hire it out. Uh, my name is Jordan. I might call the person, who's a famous Jordan? Jordan Poole? Yeah, surely the NBA player. Yeah, Jordan Poole. <laughs> my name's already Constantine Stanford. I think a third one might be nice. Jimmy Donaldson? Okay. So those are three artists. All right. <laughs> After all the chaos, things were finally settling down. That was until, like a wild Pokemon in tall grass, our art evaluator friend appeared out of nowhere. Dude, what the fuck? Why is he here? 
all the art had barely been assembled in time. But the only two things that mattered now were if people believed that the art gallery was legit and whether or not my art would sell. My art evaluator friend was the first person I had to convince. Is that you? Yeah. Finally pleasure, in person. Pleasure. So what did he think? Yeah, this was very impromptu. I've, I've not this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, not off to a great start. But after a brief introduction into Leo's art history. I've been since like 30 years ago involved in, in the yeah. art world and work for presidents and work for yeah. very serious collectors. If you didn't catch that, he literally just said that he's worked for presidents and now he's here judging my fake art. So with his experience working for presidents, what did he think about my art? I personally have a big fan of it. A big fan of it. Wait, did, did he just say that he was a big fan of it? I know actually monochromes and especially whites and blacks, they are the most difficult thing to yeah. do for an artist. And I, I think it's very courageous to go that path, honestly. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, Thanks, honestly, yeah. Honestly. I couldn't believe it. My $5 canvases had convinced Leo that I was a courageous artist. Not only that, but one that he also admired. But enough about the artsy side of things. Let's talk numbers. How much did he think that any painting in my gallery was worth? You, you, you want to, to see the, the CV of the artist? We're talking about between 500 to 3,000 um, Australian dollars. Given that everything in the gallery was pretty much all bought off Amazon, I felt like I had just hit the lottery. $500 to $3,000? You've got to be kidding me. I'm a collector myself. Oh, as a yeah. private collector, what, what would you give? Mm -hmm. Of course, I won't hold you to it. <laughs> You're talking about 2000 it might not have been 40 million bucks, but the icing on the cake was when he said this. A canvas that had been put on a doorknob without a second thought was worth $1,800. And to make things even better, Leo wanted to take a photo in front of the big canvas I made for his Instagram. Oh, it's an honor. Thank you. <laughs> so naturally, with those evaluations, it was time to try and make a tasty profit. The new art gallery was underway and people began slowly rolling in. With Leo's evaluation in mind, I wanted to see what other people thought and whether or not they would buy it for that price. What do you guys think? <laughs> Got any, um, any thoughts on what we have on display today? Interesting. I haven't seen it before. If you were to, if you were to buy it, how much would you pay for it? A couple hundred bags. Nobody seemed interested in paying what Leo had suggested, but a couple of people did find it fair. How much do you guys think something like this would be worth? I would have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had an art appraiser in here. And he, was, he said between 500 and 3.5 grand. That's right. After what seems like hours and a couple of accidents- Oh, it's a bit wonky though. That's okay. It looks like my art just wasn't going to sell. That was until I met Will. So this is your third art gallery? Second. Second of the year? This one was my uh, professor at uni. <laughs> what do you think about the art so far? Yeah, I, I don't know, it could work. Anything goes, man. How much would you, how much would you pay for it? How much would I pay for it? You would do 200 bucks? Um, <laughs> this one by J Jimmy Walton. Yeah, you can take this one. Yeah, I'll take it. Hundred dollars. <laughs> Deal. As Will went to get money for my art piece, I was baffled that anyone had paid anything at all for my blank canvases. But as I thought back to everything I had gone through to get here, I had a newfound respect for artists trying to make it. And with Will's return marked my first sale. Uh, so the nail's part of the piece. Sweet. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Meaning I was now a professional artist.